Hello and welcome to my channel on the hook crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and let's find out what's on the hook. Today I have several things to talk about which I always say I know I start my show out the same way every time but I like y'all to know where I'm going with this particular video and I have quite a few acquisitions so I want to talk about those a couple of whips and my diamond painting will be thrown in there somewhere and then also I have some giveaways so that's kind of basically what I do most every Monday so if you're new here that is what we cover uh, what I've been up to in my crafting journey uh, with crochet and with knitting and also with diamond painting those are the three crafts that I concentrate on so I hope you're um, a new here if you're new here uh, welcome 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 I'm so glad that you're here and if you're a returning subscriber or even a viewer I hope you subscribe to my channel but thank you for returning thank you for coming back and thank you for uh, supporting my Etsy shop you don't know how much I appreciate that it allows me to buy more yarn and more diamond paintings and be able to offer things to you in giveaways and so that helps me quite a bit and thank you for supporting me I so appreciate it one question I want to answer is about the community the community is just the on the hook crochet viewers and subscribers who have gone down to the description box below and click the link and when you send in your email I will send you an occasional email I don't send them out very often at all but what you do is first of all you get a free pattern it's free to join up and then every time I release a pattern you are the first to know and you also get a special offer code for a substantial amount of money discount off of that pattern and off of all the other patterns in my Etsy shop so uh, it's a benefit benefit for you there's it doesn't cost you anything and uh, that way you can kind of keep up with what I'm doing and take a look at the new patterns if you're interested you can go out on Etsy and take a look at more pictures and um, again use that offer code if you decide to pick one up and they are all written in very uh, easy to understand sentences they're written in sentences they're not written cryptic abbreviations that you wonder what I'm talking about and they also fit everyone I use measurements not stitch counts I just really resist using stitch counts because that just hems you into one size and so what I do is we start out taking our measurements we make the sweater or the top to fit you the first time and hopefully the second time and third time you make that pattern it will be a success for you as well so be sure to go down and join the community if you haven't already done that I have a pattern coming out hopefully the end of next week and I know that's been I've been saying that for two or three weeks but this is a top-down sweater called the Rebecca sweater originally called the Anastasia but I have renamed it the Rebecca sweater in um, and as a shout out to Becky who hand dyed this beautiful beautiful yarn for me and I wrote this pattern and I thought you know what I'm gonna name this a Rebecca pattern because that's who dyed the yarn for me and so I'm giving her a little bit of a shout out for naming the sweater after her so it's not the Anastasia that will come out some other time but this is the Rebecca sweater and I hope to publish that next week probably the end of next week I'll be ready to send that right out to you so be sure that you sign up for the community before I do that that way you'll have an offer code that you can use I also send out with the signing up of, uh, in the community an offer code for my project bags these are uh, manufactured by Port Authority a very popular name in the bag business they make a lot of backpacks and things like that this is kind of a nylon bag and you can wash it in the wash machine it has a pocket on the side this particular one has pockets inside that you can put your um, patterns or your yarn bands in your pin and your crochet hook or whatever you want and it's a very large bag see the bottom of it I actually saw someone on Facebook had taken a picture of themselves carrying this bag it was a, I think it was a different color bag obviously but uh, I think it was a dark blue or a turquoise or something but they were carrying this bag and had several projects inside there is room inside for several projects so if you're going on a trip or just going around the house you can carry your projects with you so you'll also receive an offer code for my project bags in that email so be sure 
that you uh, open your email and take a look at it so that if you're interested in a project bag for yourself or for someone for Christmas I have some in my stock and I have several colors I think there are four colors out there now and if you go to the Etsy shop you'll see the four colors of bags right there on page one so be sure to do that if you are so inclined to buy a bag be sure to use the offer code before you buy one now as you know I'm wearing at one of my sweaters this is called the Cecilia sweater and this is the pattern that is out on the Etsy shop. I have the front and the back ver the uh, pictures of it because I love to show the back of this. It's not just decorated on the front. It is decorated on the back. So if you look around at the back, and I'll stand up so you can see this. This is the Cecilia sweater, and I'm just wearing it with a pair of gray dress pants and some black, uh, little black flats just for a kind of a casual day today, but uh, this has uh, several colors in stripes across the front and then they're also across the back. As you can see, uh, they go all the way down to the end of the sleeve and something I really, really like about this pattern because it is cheery and it is a summer sweater. I made this out of afternoon cotton from Premier. That is a lightweight cotton, size 3, and Premier has several colors of it. And what I did was I bought several colors that I thought would go well together. And then I did the mini bean stitch uh, in the colors, not the background. The background here is, of course, gray. But I did the colorways in the mini bean stitch all the way across. They go all the way down to the sleeve edge and then I edged the sleeve in purple. I did several lines of purple here, two lines of purple, and then on the back I did more purple back there. See, so I tried to uh, coordinate the colors. The bottom color, of course, is pink. So I tried to coordinate the colors so that they looked interesting on the sweater. They weren't so, they were almost like a surprise where I put them. I didn't put pink around here, which is what I would have originally thought to do because of the neckline, but I decided to change it up to purple and I've really enjoyed wearing this. And another thing I did this week, I blocked this sweater. I rarely block my sweaters. I rarely block them. Now I did block the Rebecca sweater and I showed that in a, I believe it was last week's video, maybe the week before, and it turned out so beautiful. It was just so soft, and it just hung much better on me than when uh, it wasn't blocked. So I blocked this with the ukulele with the same little uh, wool wash that I usually use for my wools, and my woolens, I guess you could say. And I blocked this and I let it dry on top of the dryer. I did not stretch it or do anything like that. And it does drape much better. If you can see that, it does drape much better than it was. It was a little bit stiff, you know, after I finished crocheting it. So I'm glad that I blocked it. I've worn it several times before I blocked it, but uh, now that it's blocked, I really like it. So you might try that if you have a... Uh, a top that you've made out of something other than acrylic. I'm not sure acrylic really changes all that much after it's washed. It might not be quite as rough, but I'm not sure that it hangs any better after it's washed. Y'all let me know. Put a comment down there and let me know if you've ever blocked acrylics. I've never blocked acrylics, so I really don't know what they do. But I do know that the natural fibers like cotton and wool, they block very beautifully. And I just really many times don't take the time to do it. I, I make something and then I'm so excited to wear it. I put it right on and then I never think about blocking again. So this was blocked and I really like the way it's hanging a little bit better. It is a little bit stiff. It's an afternoon cotton. It's not, uh, doesn't have any nylon in it. I think when you... Uh, buy a blend with cotton and nylon, for example, or something like that. Um, it does uh, appear to be a little bit softer, but this is beautiful yarn. I really like it. There's nothing I don't like about this yarn. It's just different from like a superwash merino or something that's a little bit softer. So anyway, I wanted to let you know that I blocked it. This is the pattern. If you're interested in the pattern, it's out on my Etsy shop. It's called the Cecilia Summer Top. And it's not difficult to make, but I suggest that you buy several colors and make it in colors. And uh, that way it'll be just like this one. And then you can do it differently, of course, in your second and third uh, swing around with that pattern. But the first time around, um, it'd be fun to add some colors to your summer wardrobe. So 
I just think it's pretty the way it is. I like the gray and the different colors that were offered in the Afternoon Cotton and Premier. I'm not sponsored by them at all. Not at all at all. I'm not sponsored really by very many people. Um, Crochet Surprise sponsors me every month and I'll get to that a little bit later. I've got a new one that I'm giving away so be sure you stay tuned for that. Now a quick look at my whips because I want to show these to you. This is what I've been working on this week. I've been working on this sweater and this is the Rebecca sweater not in the original wool that I made it in that was dyed for me by my friend Becky but this is the uh, knit crate yellow daffodil colored yarn I have way too much of this I bought too much of it but anyway it's called Vitalana Lofty DK and there's the tag that comes on it is a chain kind of a chain um, yarn. I like it a lot. I do. I, it's very, very soft. It's just the color is so loud. It's still loud, but I'm finishing this sweater if it kills me. <laughs> I'm going to finish this sweater. And I'll just try it on for you. Let me show you this. This is the right side. I've gotten this far on the yoke. I'm almost through. In fact, this is my last row before I'm going to break for the body of the sweater. So here it is trying on. Try this on and let's see if I can get it to lay down there. There we go. And it's I'm right here at the front of the arm. Now, if you put your arm down like this, and if the yoke is meeting there, if it's there at the beginning of your armpit, right there, then you can break for the body. And what I mean by that is you uh, connect this side with the other side, on this side, of course, um, with chains. You chain from here to the other side of the yoke, and I'll show you how to measure for that and everything. It's no, there are no stitch counts in my pattern, so you'll have to uh, take measurements. But this is what I've done so far, and get up here where you can see it. It's very beautiful. I really like it. It's, um, it's soft. But it's not the color that I would have chosen if I had any sense. I received this in a knit crate a monthly subscription and I fell in love with it. But I didn't really think of it as wearing it. I didn't think of that. And now that I, I'm making it, I'm, I'm not thrilled with it, but I'm okay with it. And I think I'm probably going to need this ball and maybe one other. And then that's going to leave me with two extra balls. They, you might see this in a giveaway. It'll be a special giveaway because it wasn't cheap, but I think if I don't need it, I'll probably do that. I'm, I might put some longer sleeves in this than I did the Rebecca. Those were just very, just about a cap sleeve, a little longer than a cap sleeve with a ribbing at the bottom. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer, I believe. Let me get that up there where you can see it. Um, isn't that a cute little stitch marker? I don't know where I got that. That's really pretty. Maybe it was knit crate, I don't know. But anyway, this is this is what it looks like up close. If you want to make a top-down sweater, this is this is the one I would suggest. Uh, I did one earlier in the winter time. It was a colorwork sweater, kind of special, and it's not just one you can just pick up and make any sweater by. But I've seen some out on Facebook, and they look really nice. They're not uh, they don't have colorwork on them. They're just a plain sweater. So. Um, a top-down sweater is a good sweater to have if you know how to make one with your measurements. So that's what I try to do in my patterns is show you how to make them on your own, how to design your own sweaters. And I just give you a little bit of a recipe and you go and take off with your measurements and the sweater should fit you. So there you go. That's my first whip that I wanted to talk about. My second whip is with the dotty yarn. Y'all have been following this. This is a... Uh, color shifting dot print. This is from Premier and these are huge. These are 656 yards on the ball. This is size 3 yarn and I'm using the Prairie colorway. The Prairie colorway on this and for this particular sweater. Now I'm finished with the back and I'm doing this bottom up with the sleeves built into the sweater. This is the dotty I'm sorry, this is the Dorothy sweater made with dotty yarn. I have broken for the neckline right here. I started the neckline. So over here, I'm going up the side of the sweater and I'm going to start my sleeve. I'm going to start chaining out for the sleeve and it'll start right there. It's kind of hard to do this on camera, but I'll go 10 spaces over or 10 chains over and then I will graduate up to the shoulder and I'll do the same thing on the other side. 
So this is the front of the, the sweater and the bottom of the neckline. And I'll probably put some ribbing on this because I want it to be a little bit taller than that. But I did start it right about there. So um, this is the center of the sweater. There again is the Do Dorothy sweater. And I'm making this a little bit longer with longer sleeves. But the stitch pattern is the same. So I'm really liking this. I'm almost done with it. I'll be done with it um, in a few days. Um, but I'm having some visitors this week, so I might not be able to get done quite as much as I wanted to. But I will be working on that and also my diamond painting as well. I just wanted to keep you up to date with my diamond painting progress. I am back at the diamond painting by Van Gogh. And this is called the Portrait of Dr. Gachet. And there is where what it looks like. I'm just going to hold it out here because I have it pushed under here where I can work on the top, which is this part right here that I have not finished yet. It's just the top three inches. And let me show you that real quick. This is with the light on here. This is what I haven't done right in here. So I'm working on that and I'm finished all of this below that line there. So look how beautiful the colors are in here. Really pretty. Love the yellows and the oranges, the reds. And the color of his suit is all confetti. If y'all know what that means, it means lots of different shades of, in this case, blue. And on his face, lots of shades of yellow and flesh color, green, a little bit of green in there for some reason, his eyes, I guess. And then his mustache, all that is all mixed in. And the background is going to be a lot of confetti as well. Right here is going to be more of that up here. So it'll take me about two or three more nights to finish this painting and when I finish this I will finally get around to sealing this one the two sisters on the terrace and also St. Francis of Assisi so I have three in um, already almost finished this one so I'll have three to seal and then to take to the framers but I just wanted to show you this let me step back and you can kind of see what he looks like and what I do is I tuck this under, this little piece right here, I tuck it under the easel, but I wanted to bring it out so you could see it. I tuck it under the easel when I'm working on it so that I can pull the easel closer to me. And then this is not in my way. This is underneath the easel and out of the way. So I just wanted to show you that. I hope you're having a wonderful diamond painting experience. If y'all have picked up that craft, I've really enjoyed it more than I thought I ever would. I've done several now and I'm really enjoying this particular craft and it gives my hand a rest besides. So when I'm crocheting a lot, sometimes I'll just walk in here and sit down and do some diamond painting. <laughs> so, uh, Anyway, that's a little look at my diamond painting that I've done this now week. let's talk about acquisitions. I have ordered some yarns in for my uh, fall lookbook, and I'm making several patterns of items that you can make pretty much any way you want, but they're for fall and for winter. And one of the things I'm making is, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm not telling you what it is, but I'll show you some of the yarn. I ordered four or five colors in this. This is such a nice yarn. I've never ordered this before. This is the Lion brand, and it's Superwash Merino, 100% uh, Superwash Merino. That's all there is in it, and it's really super duper. Look at this. It's so soft. I really like it. I haven't stitched the first stitch with this yet, but I really like it. I like the colors that I chose, and this is the accent color for the garment that I'm making, and so I think you're going to like it. I, I really, it's not anything I've ever made before, but I want to make one and offer it in my lookbook, so I'll be uh, publishing that, you know, in the next couple of months, and then you can uh, make some of the patterns on your own. They'll be sold as a bundle. And then I'll also probably sell them singly as well, but um, there'll be a, a substantial discount on the bundle. So there again, they're all sized to fit you. They're not sized to fit me. They're sized to fit you. And this is what I'm using for one of them. So it's a Superwash Merino from Lion Brand. I just wanted to show you that because it's such a nice yarn. And to be a commercial yarn like Lion Brand, I'm just really pleased with it. I hope that it stitches up as well as I, I think it will. This is a size three yarn. This one is called Ice 
and this one is called marmalade and those are just two of the colors that i ordered i ordered several so i'll show you those you know when we get closer to time i'll bring this back in but i just wanted to show you that i i received a, a large box from lion brand i was so excited because all the colors were in there i didn't have to wait now i also ordered more of this which i'm regretting it came and sometimes i order things that i regret and uh, the yellow is an example of that the daffodil it's a little bit of an example of that but this is you are you yarn and it's called asher this is um called old barn it's cotton and linen and nylon it's a sport weight 351 yards on the hank and it's a it's a beautiful yarn but i don't like it i i don't it's too small it's very very small it's a chain yarn though i do like that about it because it won't split or anything but this is this is how small it is look at that it's just a tiny little yarn it's sport weight and i should have known that when i um, ordered it i have now five hanks of this and i might have to wait till next summer to decide what i'm going to do with it but um, two more hanks came in the mail and i thought well i'll just put those in my stash and I'll figure out what to do with those at another time. I was in Joanne the other day and I had a coupon on my phone which came in uh, on an email from Joanne and a Mr. on the Hook was grocery shopping and I thought, you know, I'm going to drive over to Joanne and see what they have because I don't shop out much. I usually don't go with him, but I decided to go this time because I thought I was going to need something from Joanne. So I found the one thing I needed and another thing I needed they didn't have. But as I was leaving, I saw the magazine rack and of course they have books and magazines there and I bought this. This is the big book of crochet stitches. There's 132 pages in this thing. It's, it's big. Um, it has different stitches like the Harlequin stitch, broomstick lace, diamond overlays, Catherine wheel, basket weave, all kinds of stitches that you can do in crochet. Let me get that up there where you can see that. And it's the, the directions on the stitches are very good. I did sit in the car and I looked through it. And the reason I looked through it, um, see the, the photographs are like this. And I can follow a photograph. I like photographs. I use them in my patterns sometimes because to me it's easier to follow a photograph and a written pattern as it is a tutorial. I don't do tutorials. I appreciate people who do. I've watched many, 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 many tutorials, but I don't do those. I, I would rather take a photo and write about what I'm doing. And, you know, it's not for everybody that and tutorials aren't for everybody either but at least we have a choice nowadays in our crafting so i wanted to tell you about that i i did read most of it and i might incorporate some of these stitches in my in my patterns i'll i'll see i'm not really sure i'm going to do that but when i when i walked up to the register i had a um i had a a little slip of elastic that I was buying and I bought this book and that's all I had at the register and I know I could have done it smarter but I had a coupon for 50% off any item and unfortunately the book didn't qualify <laughs> so this book was $19.99 $20 for a crochet book I'm not even sure I pay that much on Amazon for crochet books. But anyway, um, I went ahead and paid it because I like to support the uh, designers of books and patterns. I love to support them, and I appreciate it when you all support me. It takes a long time to write books. To I'm sure it took them forever to write this book. And the authors aren't really, I, I don't think the authors are any even on here on the outside of the book. Um, it's a, called a bookazine, which I mean, that's probably, you know, a compilation of, of different stitches. And I can't find the, the names of the people who actually did this. I think they're in here somewhere, but they should be on the front. But that's just my opinion. They're not on here at all. They're nowhere to be found on the front of this book. And let's see on the side. Nope, not on the side either. So it could have been just sponsored by a company. I don't know that, but... Um, it's a nice book. It's a nice book, and I paid $20 for it, and I don't mind that. It'll go in my library, and I'll be able to 
um, use it for research and for um, inspiration. I can use it for inspiration too. So um, I bought that at Joann's. Now I also bought something online and I told y'all I was going to do this and uh, I need to get my scissors out because I've got to open this up. This is a package from Premier and I bought this because I was looking for some red, white, and blue yarn. And this is what I bought. This is the Premier Basics, and it's in the colorway Americana. Really nice. It's 100% acrylic. I don't think it's as nice as the best value from Mary Maxim, but it is fairly nice. I will probably make something to wear out of this. I might... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I have three skeins of it. It came in packages of three, and I'm, I don't think there was a price break at three, but I thought, well, you know, I'll buy plenty, so if I decide to make something fairly large, I'll have it. There are 245 yards on the skein, and each skein is a medium four, 100% acrylic, 140 grams. It's, it's kind of a large skein. It weighs quite a bit. And again, it's a size four worsted, 100% acrylic. So um, I don't know how it compares to Red Heart Super Saver or something like that, but the colors are perfect. Look at that. There are several shades of blue in here too, which is kind of nice. And I'm not sure how much of an ombre this is, like if it's real stripey or how it, it, how it turns out. It's called multi, so it's just multicolored. And I'll have to grab my crochet hook and uh, start something, see how it looks. But I wanted to show you that. I, that was one other thing that came in the mail this week. Now let's talk about giveaways. I like to introduce new yarns and things that I find on the web and give them away. Um, sometimes it's not a huge gift, but it's enough to uh, do some experimenting with different yarns and things that I, that. Uh, I, I buy and maybe I don't like them, don't want them, don't have time for them. And so I try to give them away every week. Now, last week, I took a week off in uh, determining what I wanted to give away. So I'm giving away a Crochet World magazine. This is the August 2022. A lot of you liked it because of all the Afghan patterns in here. This was at Joann's when I went the other day. So they do have a copy of this. In case you don't win, you can go and buy one at uh, Joann's because I know they have them here at my Joann's. So anyway, there are lots of beautiful afghan patterns. There's a pillow pattern there. There's a uh, doily pattern for you doily lovers. There's a cute little couple of two or three bags on here. And the key word was bags for this particular magazine. And I also am giving away two patterns from my Etsy shop. Uh, to two different people, one to each person, and the be the pattern of your choice, whichever pattern you want from my Etsy shop. So I'll have three winners this week, and the two pattern winners will be first. So let's turn the camera to the computer, and let's find out who wins these three gifts this week. Okay, here we are at the computer, and there is the internet address for last Monday's video on the 4th. And there are no specific texts that you had to put into your comment. Everyone's up for this. I answered that question. So let's get the number of people who actually made a comment on last week's video. And you will be in the running for this um, particular gift. And these two patterns, excuse me, the amount of unique comments, 197. So let's go over here and find out who wins one of the patterns that I'm offering from my Etsy shop. So a pattern will go to Trish Scambellary Scambellary Scam Trish Scambellary. I'll try it. <laughs> it sounds right to me. So Trish, you have won the pattern of your choice from my Etsy shop. So let's go well here I am trying to figure this out. Alright, let's go back to this pick another winner. So we're going to pick one more pattern to be given away and that will go to WK Johnson 1. So if, uh, if y'all want the pattern you can email me, tell me you're the winner and what your name is. Be sure to let me know who your name, what your name is and send me an, in, uh, send me an email 
and I will send that pattern to you a PDF from my email as well so here we go let's go over here and write the word bags in because that is the word that was the key word for the magazine the crochet uh, world magazine so here we go this is it and we're going to type in bags B A G S and uh, we have to answer a question here 14 is the answer to that okay let's find out how many people wrote the word bags in their comment 127 okay so these are the people in line for the crochet world magazine so here we go this person will win the crochet world magazine and that's Debbie Motley Debbie Motley you have won the crochet world magazine congratulations to everyone congratulations to all our winners I'm excited two people get patterns and one person gets a magazine but this coming week on Monday the 18th I believe it is I'll have three more gifts to give away and we're gonna open a crochet surprise here in just one second but first of all gift number one will be a mandala baby and this is the beautiful colorway here I really like it but I, it's not what I wanted so this is called magic moon the only thing I don't love about this it starts out with white and I and for the pattern that I'm creating I didn't want white to start out but I thought you know what I'm just gonna give this away to someone who loves it it's mandala baby and the keyword here is baby put that in your comment the word baby and you'll be in the running for this next Monday so mandala baby this is just very quickly of course I said magic moon it's a size 3 yarn and there are 590 yards on the cake and it is I think 100% 100% acrylic so it's 100% acrylic it is beautiful lots of purples and grays but they weren't the colors that I wanted and I ordered this from Lion Brand so this will go to a giveaway winner next week now I had the um, slouchy cardi that I made out of the best value Mary Maxim which was the spring ombre and I have one full skein of that left and I am just going to give this right away to somebody next Monday so be sure you use the word best b-e-s-t as your keyword and if you if you want this this is 100% acrylic um, really nice really nice yarn I this is a step above most of the acrylic yarns that I see that are uh, in uh, big box stores, you know, that are very affordable, very wonderful. But this is the one that I have found that is very, very nice. And I'm making one of my fall lookbook patterns with another color of this. And I, that'll be my third garment that I've used this on. So I really love it. Not sponsored by Mary Maxim or anyone else. But again, this is what it looks like. It's shades of pink and shades of green. Very beautiful for summer. And I made the slouchy cardi out of this and in a shorter version. And I think I modeled that last week, if I'm not mistaken. So if you want to watch that, you can go back to my videos and go back one week and you'll see uh, the slouchy cardi that I made out of this. Now, slouchy cardi, of course, is on my Etsy shop. It's an easy to make mesh cardi that is fun to make and you'll need about three of these for a decent size slouchy cardi you'll need three of these so be sure to pick up two more if you win this or you can use this for something else several hats or whatever you want to make out of it uh, even because it's a beautiful uh, colorway the the colors blend into each other very beautifully it's not stripy the neutral ombre which is even more beautiful out of black and brown and white it is not available right now I don't know if they're going to get it in but it is not available this was still available the last time I looked a few days ago it was still out there so again that will go to someone in the comment section if you write the word best you'll be in the running for the Mary Maxim yarn now for the crochet surprise this came in this week and as you know I am sponsored by crochet surprise they send me one every month and I give it away to a lucky subscriber so let's open this up I've only seen it once and I just quickly looked at it so let's look at it together and this is 
This is what it looks like when you open up a crochet surprise. It's beautifully wrapped. It's got a little sticker on there with CS on it. This is what comes with it as well. It is a cardboard pattern and I don't want to compromise it so I'm not going to show you the whole thing. This is the Isla Crochet Tank and this is by, let's see if they give you the Joni at Ruby Webs Crochet. Ruby Webs Crochet and she's at rubywebs.etsy.com so you can find her patterns there. But this is the Isla Crochet Tank and this is what it looks like. Let me get it right in here where you can see it. There it is right there. It's pretty. It's pretty. I think that's really pretty. And there are several photographs in here that you can use to help you get through the pattern. And in here also is always a loose tea. And this is Clementine Sunset and Herbal Tea Blend. This is um, Jasmine Pearl, which is an awesome company. I love their teas. They're really, really good. And Crochet Surprise puts one of these in every box that they send out. There are also, I love this, there are three, wow, I didn't even see this. There are three cakes of comfy cotton right here. Comfy cotton from Lion Brand. Three cakes of this. Well, that's worth quite a bit in itself. <clears throat> I, I love this color. This is whipped cream. I have several up in my stash. I'm looking at them right now. I've got several up there, but this is what came in the box. There are three full comfy cotton um, cakes, and they are 392 yards on each one. So you've got almost 1,200 yards of comfy cotton right there. It's cotton and acrylic, half and half. Um, very comfortable to wear, and so you can make the tank top, and you'll have some tea to drink, and a wonderful pattern, and a nice box to put it all in. So that's the Crochet Surprise um, monthly offering for this month, and really nice pattern. And you know, you don't have to make that pattern, although I do suggest that you do if you win this. You'll still have three cakes of comfy cotton to do with what you want, so, um, there are lots of possibilities there. This is a wonderful yarn. I've used it for many of the things that I've made. Um, if you remember the Blue Sky sweater, which I have not come out with, I did put a notice on Facebook that I was coming out with it um, later in the month. I don't want to put stitch counts in the pattern, so I'm trying to make sure that I write it in a way that everyone will be successful with it. So. There again, um, it was the Blue Sky Sweater, and I made it from this, and I used a little bit of uh, Mandala Ombre as the color work in the yoke, but most of it was made from this, and it was quite wonderful to wear. It was just wonderful to wear, and uh, I can't recommend this highly enough. So again, there are three cakes of this, the tea and the pattern in the Crochet Surprise, and if you want to win that, use the word tank, T-A-N-K, and then you'll be in the running for the crochet surprise for next Monday. The word is tank, T-A-N-K, and you'll be in the running for this crochet surprise. So I hope you had a wonderful fourth. I meant to ask you that at the beginning of the show. I hope you had a wonderful fourth. We did, we had a great time. And uh, just thinking about all the freedoms that we have, don't forget those. Don't forget what a wonderful country we are living in. And if you're in a different country, I hope you're proud of your own country as well. So I'm going to leave that right there. Be sure to like this video. Please do that before you click away. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And be sure that you like it, whether you subscribe or not. Be sure you like it. And go down and join the community. Um, there's a link down in the description box, and you can join there for what we talked about earlier in the video. And I'll have my little grandsons here this week, so I'm excited about that as well. So I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you back here next Monday. And join me then to find out what's on the hook.